Hello, this is Lee bringing you the news from Nintendo Review on Saturday, July 28, 2018. You can now get your hands on version 1.0.5 of Enter the Gungeon. This update is merely bug fixes that address several issues with the earlier Gungeons and Dragons update. Nintendo and Monolith Soft have announced the next Xenoblade Chronicles 2 update. Version 1.5.1 is dropping this week along with new DLC. For expansion pack owners, you'll have access to things like the final quest pack including 5 new quests, 3 of them involving a number of rare blades and the last one involves Cosmos and Shiki. New rare blades quest for Hibana, designed by Atto, new items to exchange for in the challenge arena and a new setting which will open up the extreme difficulty mode. Is that Nintendo of America President Reggie fils playing a Nintendo Labo piano in the Seattle Police Department lip sync challenge? It certainly is. Nice one Reggie. And here's the latest hint art, number 12, for Super Mario Odyssey. Ground pound on the location in question to receive a small reward. Night School Studio has announced a partnership with Limited Run Games that will give Oxenfree the point and click adventure the physical treatment. Pre-orders will open from next Friday August the 3rd at 3pm in the UK. Another point and click adventure, Terrible Toy Box. Developers of Thimbleweed Park says it has been massively successful on Nintendo's console and by the time next month arrives it is expected that the Switch version will have sold more than the Steam release. Great stuff and a great game. Lead game producer of EA Sports FIFA 19, Samuel Rivera, spoke with Game Reactor about some of the improvements planned for this year. He highlighted the significantly and noticeably better AI and that the game will have a timed finishing mechanic. Nintendo have seemingly stealth released the free to play version of hero shooter Paladins on Switch. Get on the eShop now and search because it's not blatantly visible. Last week, Bossa Studios teased us with a hint at a Switch version of Surgeon Simulator. And now it's official. Surgeon Simulator CPR Co-op Play Ready is coming to Nintendo's console very soon. If you like RPGs, you'll be interested in the RPG Maker MV for Switch, which has got a Japanese release date of November 15th. But the big news is that, aside from the Switch, it'll be releasing on platforms like Xbox One, and that the two platforms will be compatible with each other. So that means if you create something on your Switch, users on the Xbox One will be able to access it and vice versa. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out Nintendo Review's great content at Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, podcasts on SoundCloud and iTunes and our website nintendoreview.co.uk.